back to the Sinking City. Last time we finished off the Letters from Oakmont side quest. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six more side quests available to do. Well, I mean, I'm assuming. So let's um go diving, I guess. You know, it's too bad there wasn't more to do with the diving. Like, like you couldn't do, like, have optional areas that you could visit diving. That would have been really cool. Patch yourself up. Patch yourself up. Something feels wrong with this oh. statue. There's no trace of seaweed on it. What is that? Oh. not with the damage, okay? Oh, hello. Okay, before we do that... Oh! Usha and Hill must both die. It doesn't matter with whom I have a deal. Both Usha and Joseph are dangerous to Oakmont and its people. The best thing to do is get the information any way I can, then kill them both. Yeah, that's that actually seems like the better option. I was going to see if I could pull it off that way anyway, like kind of dealing with her and then dealing with him afterwards. If it's possible, but that's going to be the way to go. Okay, so we're full up on those. Pull up on ammo too, except for the rifle, but make sure we're loaded up with everything here. Oh, why are we selected on that? She forbids you to go further. The sorcerer still lives. I came to put an end to you, undead abomination. Then you will suffer. This will be your doom now. Uh oh. Oh, 
come on, man. Let's see, do we got any goodie boxes around here? That was actually a lot easier than I expected. The shotgun makes, uh, seems to make quick work of her. I killed Usha thanks to Joseph Hill's ointment. Now I've got our ashes. I should return to him to get the information I need so dearly. It's time for answers. Okay, well, let me let me get uh, any any loot boxes we have around here first. In such a hurry. What's the deal with you? Okay, well, let's get out of here, I guess. All right, let's go. found Usha. She won't bother anyone again. That's... that's great news. Did you gather her remains in the, the ashes? I did. We need to talk, Joseph. You promised you'd tell me how to reach Katiganor. I remember. Don't worry. I'll need some time to gather everything. Let's meet in my lab. Are you going to revive her again? This time, it won't be as difficult. In just a short while, we'll have the answer. We can steer mankind away from catastrophe. Okay. Okay, so let's mark this off in the map, I guess. Okay, so it looks like we're going back to where we were before, so we can just zip over here and go to their lab. What's this place? Oh, that's the infected dude's place. I have it all prepared. What are you waiting for? Um, okay, well, let's go grab the boat then. Okay. 
Let's get to the payphone. And we will go... Where was that? That was over here. This way. Okay, we, we can get rid of that. I'm gonna go loot this place again first. Nice. Okay, I think that's it. got what we needed from her yes yes it all went better than expected she revealed a lot though not all of it i wanted to hear what did she say about the ruins under oakmont it was some sort of temple or prison i do not think she knows she was just one member of the cult that worshipped the monoliths is that all i'm underwhelmed did you answer our most pressing question, how to get into Katiganor? Yes. Usha said you must find something called a K-finger on each of three <laughs> A K-finger? It's almost like a Butterfinger, just different. in the city center, with two elsewhere. I take that once you've found the three K-fingers, you can complete the seal and then return to the central monolith to open the path. Did Usha mention how to locate the three monoliths? Apparently the fire worshippers know. I think they're at St. Michael's Church of the Burning Bush. Well, I guess I'll start there. How can I make the central monolith open? At least that part's easy. There's a place on it to put the seal. What waits inside? How will I know what to do to stop this madness from spreading? It must be simple. She told me in her time they sent a man in who was able to fix it. If a Mayan savage succeeded, I'm sure you'll be fine. Did he return? I didn't ask. I thought you were going to assist on my quest. Uh, not this time. There's a complication. What sort of complication? If what she told me is true, only those like you can use the seal. I would lose my mind by even trying. Did Usha mention how to locate the three monoliths? Apparently the fire worshippers know. I think they're at St. Michael's Church of the Burning Bush. Well, I guess I'll start there. So, I just have to find three monoliths with K-fingers to enter Katiganor. That could have been worse. Good luck, Reed. I'll continue to gather information, and will certainly inform you of any important developments. In the same way, tormenting the dead. What else can be done if the living know nothing? The job's done. You've served your purpose. Wait! You could still need me! And I'll just bring you back, like Usha. <laughs> 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 Get wrecked, nerd! Uh, I don't think these tools were used for surgery.
Okay, now I have everything I need. The seal and the knowledge of how to enter Spoopy Skitty Spaghetti, Spaghetti Monster Land. I fear that there may be no coming back from what comes next. So it's time to put all my affairs in order. So that's the game. I feel like it's telling me that's the point of no return. When I'm ready, I'll return to my room in the Devil's Reef Hotel to rest and prepare for Spoopy Skitty Spaghetti Spoopy Scary Spaghetti Monster Land. Okay, there is a way inside the underground vaults of Spoopy Scary Spaghetti Monster Land through the central monolith. To open the passage, I have to complete the seal... By locating its three missing parts called K-Fingers, I should start my search at the central monolith. The fire worshippers who gather around it should know the location of the other two. Whatever happened in this lab, it has nothing to do with normal science. <laughs> Okay, so, um, the church, uh, that is, it's not that, that would be this place. Yeah, I'm not hoofing that. We'll, uh. We'll just turn around. Head back to the phone booth. So it looks like we're finally in the home stretch of the game. I guess the question will be, do we want to finish up the side quests? Because, like, there's still six of them. And I feel like we're going to dump a lot of resources. And I feel like there's really no payoff other than the, um, other than the costumes and the experience that comes with it. But, I mean, at that point, and really, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. And, like, these two things I don't really care about, because we don't really use the traps ever. There, let's grab that. And, I mean, yeah, so we... I don't care about those. I don't really care about the submachine gun accuracy. And other than that, I don't really care about that. And we've gotten everything else, so... There's no... There, there doesn't feel like there's really any incentive to do anything outside of that. Um, so we're going... doing I didn't even realize I was I had that selected whatever The other, the other one. No, oh, Saint Michael's Church of the Burning. Oh wait, do we have to go to the Devil's Reef and sleep first to start it, right? 
Do we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's go see if we can find these pl these two uh these two dudes. E. Brian and R. Becker. Did we find the other guy's apartment? Beacon Street, south of Century. Ah, okay, so we can just zip over there. Oh, there it is. So I think all we have to do... Sam needs photos of the victims at several crime scenes. He gave me their names and addresses. He'll wait for me to bring three photos to the private room, the second floor of the bar. Okay. So we just have to go in, snap a picture, and run. Uh, and we're literally going straight to this place. So, we'll go in. I hate how long it takes to use the healing items. big boy. Let's go! Knowledge point! I'm guessing it wasn't suicide. long, but you mean so much to me. Okay. I found out that Officer Shaw knew Mr. Becker. Seems like they were more than just friends. Perhaps I should ask him about that. Okay, so we just have to go... ...do the next one. Hopefully we don't have to take out a big boy at the next one. Um, where's the closest? 
probably here, right? There's got to be a closer payphone than this. I mean, wh whatever. Not a huge deal at the end of the day, just... It just sucks having to go that extra distance. Okay, we will go around. Uh, I remember this. This happened last time. We could probably cut through the infested area, no problem. It's just, it's a hassle. Uh, from what I remember, there was a decent restock back here, was there not? No? Just completely empty now? Was there no restock up here? Oh, huh? guess not. Okay, scrap that idea. enough for one Okay. Man, how many floors is this place? Ah.
Bro, they're friggin' invisible! Please, me. Please. What are you doing, man? Frickin' shoot at me, you idiot! Didn't do anything! Okay, so that was unfortunate. Okay, do this. Oh my god, oh my god, run, run, run! Oh my god! That's ridiculous, man! So let's get back to the bar. Um, closest payphone. Actually, first of all, where's the Seven Oaks bar? That's down here, right? Yeah. Uh, so our closest payphone would probably be. The university. Hey, knock it off. Quite the trek to get there, but Oh, I guess not really. It's literally right there. And if we cut through this way. Yeah. So we'll cut through here, go down the other side, hit the payphone, go to the bar, turn in the quest, see what we get. your poison. I got those photos you wanted. You got my compensation. Terrific. Thank you. Uh, here, <laughs> take this. Some of these were pretty Captain horrible. Crazy Eyes. I hope you find the killer. Me too, Reed. Me too. I know why you wanted this case cracked. Found some clues in Becker's house. And you were close, weren't you? 
How dare you? I... He... He was special. A man you meet only once in life. He... understood me. I won't stop until I find those who did it. I'm sure thing, crazy eyes. Him. And don't worry. I'm a private eye. Emphasis on the private. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate it. Take care. Yeah, see, in my mind, that was totally not worth it. I mean, you could have gave me grenades. Gave me some rifle ammo. Oh, we have a knowledge point. Look at that. Um, Well, let's finish this page off. We'll get that, and then we only have four more to get there. Which I don't think we're gonna fully get, okay. but I'll need another drink to get. Okay, so what do we have left to do side quest wise? We have the fool's gold one. Which means that's an armored escort thing, and I'm not really inclined to do it because it sounds like an ammo dump. Um, that sounds like we got to fight something there. Yeah, there's a big boy over in the home of the infected man. Uh, open house. Oh, that one we have to go and, um, that's the one where we have to go dump, dump the incense things and take a picture. Yes, I, I don't really have... I don't really see much of a point in doing them. It's like you get nothing for it. If there was more incentive, like if you got like special items or something from it, then... I mean, hey, the more the merrier, right? But doing side quests just for... The sake of dumping your resources into them doesn't really... Doesn't really seem too appealing. Especially because I'm sure we're probably going to want them if we're coming up on endgame, right? Okay, so let's take a zip over here. And I think we will call it a day here for now. And next time we'll go probably, if we don't do any more side quests, we'll probably go rest up at Devil's Reef. And get on with our final quest. So... If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.